made him um, uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the final week of Reese's exercise classes, his return to dancing fitness. And I know a lot of you have been doing all these exercises every week, so well done for that. And this is the final week, so I'm going to hand straight over to Reese. Okay, good morning. Thank you for those who have turned up, especially for those from America who are waking up much, much earlier than the rest of us. Um, so, taking on feedback from um the very first session all the other weeks i'm trying to set it out to make sure that all the floor movements are in one go and then all the ones when you're standing up in one go as well um we're also taking feedback from the very last the, the very first live session as well there wasn't enough time for people to go quickly go into the next exercise so originally was going to do the core rotation twice but what i'm going to do instead is increase the core exercises but increase the duration of the exercise and also increase the duration of the rest as well to allow people to move from one exercise to the next. Um, make sure as well you've got enough space in your area when you're doing exercise. Make sure you've got some water. I'll be going and having some water as well. Um, but first of all, what I want to do is to start our warm up. So you can just start walking around your, your space for me, please. So start walking around your space. Because this is just making sure you've got enough, your joints are getting ready to do some exercise. So just walking around. And also, I'll be trying to give you more descriptions between each exercise as well, this session, to make sure you understand why we're doing it as well. Okay, so continue walking, try and walk faster as well now. Okay. If you stop there, what I want to do is then walk on your tiptoes, okay? So they're basically similar to a calf raise. We're trying to make sure we are ensuring that our tibialis anterior, the muscle at the front, is, mean, is engaged as well. So tip, walk on your tiptoes. You're also making sure your gastrocnemius is contracting actually as well. Okay, so that's your calf muscle. So you're on your tiptoes. Walk, continue walking. Yeah, you're, you should be feeling your gastrocnemius contracting as you're walking your tiptoes with your calves, so. Um, and then we stop there. What you need to do now is then go on your heels, okay, with your heels. This should be getting your quads contracting and also getting your muscle on, the, on your shin to be contracting as well. So try and prevent those shin splints as well, just while we're doing these exercises to begin with. So walking on your heels, And then all you need to do is walk, um, for everyone thought it was quite a silly one to do last time, is that the pigeon walks, you want to squat in and you're rolling through your foot, okay, which is allowing the transfer of power across your foot, okay, to so increase, increase the range of motion and ankle joints as well. So getting down low, that's why we do the pigeon walk, it's increasing the range of motion at the ankle, which obviously we'll be doing, we're using a lot of when we're doing the plyometrics. Okay, next one we do is jogging in your little spots as well. For me, it's much smaller than maybe some of you. Very jealous of those who've got gardens and doing it in your garden. Jogging around in your spot. on jogging okay and stop there okay the next one we need to do is do our heel flips so when you're doing your heel flips you can't put your hands on your bum you try and kick in your hands on your bum as well so we can do some heel flips for me please Okay, so this is increasing the range of motion at the knee. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, I want you to use some high knees, okay? So with the high knees, you're bringing it up. Okay, and then go on quick legs, trying to increase the range of motion in your hips. So high knees. And 
hand stuck there for me. So that's the pulse razor. That's the first part of a warm up. Okay, now we're going to go through some dynamic stretches. Okay, what I want us to do, start from the top of our body, okay, down to the bottom as well. So I want us to do is look up, look down, look up, and look down. Look to your, go back to the center, look to your left, look to your right, look to your left. And look to your right. And next one I want you to do is bring your shoulders up, and then drop them down. And do that a few times. Or let's do that five times. It's three, four, and five. And next one I need to do is roll your shoulders backwards. And roll your shoulders forwards. Okay, now we need to rot roll or rotate our arms forwards as well, making sure you've got enough space to rotate your arms forwards for me, please. Okay, then rotation your arms backwards. Okay, and my favorite, one forwards, one backwards. And if you can, try and change the other way as well. This is what my kids hate because they can't do it. And then I tell them to do it the other way and then they get even more confused. Okay, we can do some more arm stretches as well just because we are have been doing or we'll increase our arm work as well today as well. So this you're gonna hold it in front two seconds and then drop back. So the front, hold, only for two seconds. You don't want to do it any longer because our muscles aren't fully, fully warm. Therefore doing it any longer can cause a tear or actually limit flexibility as well. You have the next one as well. You're going to go behind your back, hold it for two and then switch over as well. Do that five times on each side. Okay, so just hold it, just engage it. And then that's it. I've lost count already, can't count to five. Okay, next one I need to do is rotate your hips for me, please. Bring it down nice and low and going clockwise to begin with. Okay, then go anti-clockwise. And stop there. Okay, next one I need to do is then go, you're gonna lunge side to side. Okay, I'm never stopping, so always moving our body. You're gonna go side to side. This increases the range of your abductors and rotator cuffs as well. Okay, next one is going to be a quad stretch, basically holding it there for two and bring it down. So two, so bring your knees close together as well and down there. One, two, down and one, two. No longer, just increasing the range of muscles at each joint. Okay, that's a quad stretch. Next one is the hamstring stretch. Basically, bring your one leg in front, you're going to push down. You should be able to feel it there only for two seconds and then turn over as well. Okay, you don't have to turn around like me, I'm just showing you which muscle you should be feeling. You can just switch over like that and just hold it, engage it for a second at a time. So your foot comes down first. The next thing, what you can do, okay, do that, but bring your toe up at the end as well. So down and up, and down and up. And as you do that, bring your toe up, you can feel it's stretching a different muscle as well. So you're going, put your foot down, down and up, down 
and bring your foot up. But one more time, and that. Okay, then I want you to, a bit like a more, um, it's a very well-known football um, stretch, but it's open the gates, similar to say, well, when you close the gates, it's a bit like a galley. Okay, so you open the gates, And then close the gates. So close the gates. This way it looks like a galley. You can even do two hoppers there as well. So close the gates. Close the gates. If you want, you can add a galley as well if you want to. I'm sure I wouldn't get be able to get my students to do this, but. okay. Then what you do, get your ankle, okay, you can then push up, or you lift your ankle foot up and then push it down as well, so you go up and down, and move your side to side, and if you want, rotate in a circle as well, okay, do the same with the other foot, up and down, side to side, and rotate round as well. Okay, so if you want to just shake it off a little bit, grab some water, okay? Then what I'm gonna go through, I'm not gonna go through every exercise to begin with, just because I know last time people I did that, people were doing the exercises when they should have been resting. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate the very first exercise, and then during the rest, I'll demonstrate the next exercise to ensure that people aren't doing, not right, aren't exercising when they're meant to be resting. So I'm just gonna have some water quickly. That too close to a fire pit last night, so I've been a little bit dehydrated myself. Um, but we've got 18 exercises for the core workout, okay? The first one is a squat. Okay, so we've got 18 exercises. Um, there are, there is some new, move, new movements actually. Um, and I know Pauline, you said you didn't like flutter kicks. We are adding both variations of flutter kicks as well. Okay, and one exercise I will show you now is the difference. Okay, straight off the press ups. Okay, you can do a press up either on your knees, even on your knees, okay, or knees off. Okay, the exercise after press up is a press up engage or press up pause. So you're going to go down, hold it, and then go up. Again, if you're on your knees, you go down, hold it, and then go back up. Okay, so that's the new exercise which we've never done before in any of the sessions. Okay, but if you have done the hard workout, every other exercise is the same. If you've been doing the core workouts, I'll be showing you or demonstrating to you in the 20 seconds rest, what's happening. Okay, so I will just get my roll mat out. This is your opportunity to get your roll mat out as well and get ready to exercise. Okay, so you should be able to see my feet down here. I've tried to pick blue trainers with white trim on a black mat. So the first exercise is one of the simplest ones. It is a squat, so bring both feet in front. There shouldn't be an angles or pointing inwards. This should be going out front, okay, like that. And then going straight down and back up. Okay, so straight down, this side on view, and that. So that's gonna be our very first movement. And then we'll go on to the lunges. So it's both, we've got 18 exercises for the core. We have two minutes rest. Okay, we've got 30 seconds exercise, 20 seconds rest. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go and do some squats. Don't forget, go at your own pace. Okay. Don't try and go at the speed I'm going at as well. Go at your own pace. That's halfway there.
Five seconds left. And stop. 20 seconds rest. Do not do anything for those 20 seconds. And now I'm going to show you the next one. That's the lunge. Make sure you're going in front. Make sure your knees not going in front of your toes. Okay, so that's your lunge there. Alternating both sides as well. Starts in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's do some lunges. Should be nice and balanced. Make sure your knees not going in front of your toes. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and stop. 20 seconds rest, don't do anything in those 20 seconds. Next one is the ceiling touches, you go going up, and then, so I'll move back a bit. Going up, and then going down. Going up, then I'm reaching down. Don't force it, if not, can't touch the floor, because otherwise that's causing an injury. First seconds, let's go. Up, and down. Halfway there. And stop. Okay, 20 seconds rest. The next one is the calf raises. Feel like to the warm up we've been doing. You're going to go up and down. If you've got a ledge or a step, do it even there because that will increase the range of motion of the calf as well. So you're going to go up. And down. Um, starts in three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. And stop. Next one, I'm gonna go on the floor. Those who've been doing the core would have been doing this up in the air. So that's the elbow to knee crunches. Okay, so you, if you want to be, if you have been doing the core and doing it up in the air, you can. However, I'll be demonstrating it on the floor now. I'm gonna start in three, two, one, and go. If you make it harder, make sure your legs are not touching the floor as you're doing it. If you're feeling a little bit tired, you can drop your feet down on the floor you want. Five seconds. And stop. Next one is the leg raises. I may switch over on orientation so you can actually see it. For the leg raises, land on your back, again, lifting your legs all the way up. Actually, I can't see that because the time is not on the screen, so we'll come back to this original orientation. Starts in three, two, one, and go. Okay, so try and make sure your feet are not touched on the floor on the way back down. But if you do need to pause and put your feet on the floor, you can. Don't forget to breathe as you're doing it as well. 10 seconds left. And stop. Okay, 20 seconds left of rest. Okay, the next one is the flutter kicks. I'll probably use Pauline. Okay, look at the flutter kicks, okay? Doing small movements with your legs, okay? And your legs should not be touching the floor. Okay, they're going up and down as well. So they go up and down in a straight line. So in three, two, one and go. Don't forget to breathe as well. That's quite important to survive. Halfway there. Last 
Last five seconds. And stop. Okay, the next one is the variation of the flutter kicks. I'm gonna show you this way. Okay, this is this flutter kick, variation of the flutter kicks. You're doing the same again, but again, now we're going sideways like that. Okay, so we're going up and down. We're going sideways. Again, if you need a pause, put your feet on the floor, you can. Start in, now. Ten seconds left. Should be feeling it hurting your stomach quite a bit now. And stop. Okay, if it's not hurting your stomach right now, this next one may do, or the one afterwards. Okay, that's the v next one is the V sit. Okay, the V sit. Bring your arms and legs together at the same time, like that, and then slowly back down. Starting. Now, let's go. Ten seconds. And stop. Okay. So 20 seconds rest. The next one, okay. You should be while you're resting. Okay, don't do anything. This one's a one-legged B sit. So you're doing the same thing again. Just now one arm, one leg. So one, two. Okay, I'm alternating each time. So that's in three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. And stop. Okay, so that should, that is the end of all the core chunk specific workout. Next one, no, actually no, that's not, I'll tell a line. We have got two more, okay. It's the ankle taps, laying down, Go on sideways, try and touch on your ankles. So that's in three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, this one is the very last one for working your core. The other one I uh, do is the V planks, which I enjoy after. The next one is a Russian twist, though, where you can even have your legs up on the ground to make it harder or easier, rotating your trunk to touch each side of the floor. Three, two, one, and go. So if you find it hard, put your feet on the floor. If you want, if not, try and keep your legs off of the ground. Halfway there. Two, one, and stop. Okay, the next one is one. Sometimes it's not in the core session, next sometimes it is in the hard session. Get okay, the V plank. The V plank is an isometric movement, which means no muscles moving. Okay, you're just basically holding that shape for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. With isometric, it's important to breathe. Okay, if you're not breathing, it makes it a lot harder. So your legs should be off the ground, shoulders off the ground, just holding that the full 30 seconds. Halfway there. If your legs are shaking, just means there's lactic acid build up in your legs, 
the child can track the muscles over and over again. So shaking is not a bad thing. And stop. Okay. Next one is the press ups with the press ups. Okay, you can go on the knees. Okay, and bring, make, just make sure your arms are much further forward. You're going down and then back up. With the normal, you're doing the normal press up, knees off the floor, and then going straight down. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. So my feet are slipping. Last five. And stop. The next one, again, use the same ex, same type of press up you've been just been doing. What you do is go up, hold it, down. One, two, up. One, two, and then pause it. One, two. Starting now. Up, one, two, down. One, two. And stop. Okay. Next one, okay, is the plank. You can go over an arms, arms locked plank or an elbows. I'll be doing an elbow. Okay, don't forget there's an isometric contraction, therefore try and breathe while you're doing it. Three, two, one, and go. Make sure your bum's not too high or too low on the plank, because that can then cause some injuries as well. Halfway there. Last five, two, one, and stop. Okay, last two left of of the exercises. Next one is the shoulder taps. Again, you could do this on your knees, okay? Or take your knees off, you're doing, touching your shoulders as you're doing it. You can start in three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. Last five. And stop. Okay, the last one, okay, is the tricep dips. Again, you can do this on the floor if you want. You have your arms or your legs straight or bent. So you can even have your legs straight, going down, okay, or bent. I'm gonna show you how my legs straight and go. Halfway there. And stop. Okay, that is it. I'm going to allow for two minutes rest. Grab some water if you can. Try and clear some space for the plyometrics as well. Just clear my space. Still got well a minute and a half left before we start doing the biometrics. Okay, so what is biometrics? So biometrics is a type of jump training. 
Okay, so what it means is trying to have minimal contact point on the floor. Okay, plyometrics is one of the few types of training. Okay, the six main types of training you've got circuits, weight, plyometrics, fire leg, continuous. Um, plyometrics is the only one which basically slowly works on power, which is what obviously you need for my stance. And which may, some people may not realize you need power to jump. Hence why plyometrics is sometimes called jump training. So each of these exercises has got a speed element which where it's lengthening and shortening muscle contractions very quickly, which allows you to generate the power. Okay, so when I are doing, if I'm, if I am doing an exercise which you can't do, take the jumping element out and that should make it easier. Okay, if I have jumping squats, just do squats. If you can't do the jump in between, jump and lunges again as well. Okay, so we've got half, half a minute left. Okay, so the first exercise I'm gonna demonstrate actually is the mountain climber. Okay, so yes, there's no jump element in this. However, of course you're moving your legs in quick succession. Okay, there is a power element. So plant a mountain climber, but basically you've got a force like that. Okay, so that's the first exercise of the biometric session. And I'll go through um, the rest in the warm up. There's one extra exercise which people have not seen yet. However, if you dance Bampton, you will know this exercise. Okay, so just before the burpees, okay, so I'm putting our burpees in there. Okay, with the burpees, I want you just before the burpees, I want you to do a Bampton caper. So for 15 seconds, you're going to be taking off one leg and land on the other. And then halfway through, change legs. So it's basically right, left, left, or left, right, right. Okay. That's the bamboo caper, which we're just doing just before the burpees. Because why? When else would you put them in, in there? Okay, so we've got 14 exercises. Okay, doing the mountain climbers first. I'm just going to have some more water quickly. Even though it's six weeks later, the temperature of the flat is much warmer than it was six weeks ago. Okay, so we've got 14 exercises. Should take us on up to 10 2, and then we'll do some a cool down afterwards as well. Okay, starting, get ready into that mountain climber position. Starting in five, four, three. Two, one, and go. Halfway there. Last five. And stop. Okay, the next one, okay, is the jump squat, going down, and then jumping. Okay, so that's it. That's a jump squat. If you can't do the jump, just do a squat. Start in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. And stop. Okay. Next one is a jumping lunge. Okay. And so a lunge is this. And then jump in between as well. That's a jumping lunge. Can't do the jump. Just do a lunge. Five, four, three, two, one, and go.
and stop. Okay, the next one is the plain caper. Do this each week because the end part of a field town dance, jumping on to one leg and then the other. Using the arms as well. Three, two, one, and go. We're gonna take a pause, take a pause. Turn onto one leg, then the other. Halfway there. And stop. Okay, the next one is the fast hops, left and right. Go on one leg, hop as you can. Do the other on the next one and change legs. Okay, it starts in five seconds, just stretch out my right calf, a slight needle. Left leg, let's go. Halfway there. Last five. And stop. Okay, should now be feeling your left leg contracting over again. The ball's quite heavy. Okay, that should succeed as you're going through the recovery. Then changing legs. So now I'm now using my right leg, even though I made it look like my left leg from the reverse camera. So that's in three, two, one, and go. Halfway right there. And stop. Okay, the next one, okay, is the Mars steps. This can be a van step or the exaggerated double, normal double, or a single. So it's all up to you. I'm gonna do the van step. Let's go. Halfway there. And stop. Okay, the next one is the in and out squats. You're gonna go in and back out. In and back out. Okay, so that's the in and out squats. Okay, going to start in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. And stop. That's some water. The next one's the ball jumps, two footed jumps. You don't need to turn, you want to, or you jump, or if you spin, and then continue. In three, two, one, and go.
and stop. So the next one, okay. Woo. Can warm flat. It's a jumping jack or a plyo jack. This is an out and in in one jump. I'm gonna do a jumping jack just because I haven't got enough room. So a plyo jack. Three, two, one, and go. So do half a jumping jack. I'll do half plyo jacks. I'm going to show you the difference as well. Halfway oh, yeah. there. And stop. Okay, the next one is the split lunges. All my kids started telling me at school. Looking up, looks like the Mario jump. So here you go. Okay, or jumping lunge or normal lunge. Starting now. So me hitting the season. And stop. Sorry about that. Okay, the next one, the bumps and capers. And then change it halfway through as well. Just say lift, right, right, way, right, left, left. Three, two, one and go. Change legs. And stop there. This one's the burpee. I'll show you the easy version. You go up, down, jump out and in, and then up. If you want to add a press up? You can. I won't be demonstrating that. Three, two, one, and go. Jump up, jump down, out and in, and up. Out and in, and up. Halfway there. And stop. One more exercise left. Okay. That's the last step. Entirely up to you which more step I'm doing, what you're doing. I'll be doing the other double step. It's entirely up to you. And three, two, one, and go. And stop. Okay, so that is it. Grab some water. Okay, and then we'll start doing the cool down. Well done to all of those who took part. Okay, well done. I'm still going to go through the cool down now to make sure you don't have as many aches and pains the next few days. Okay, so. I'll get you have a little bit more rest. We'll start the cool down in 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, what I want to do is the cool down. I want you to do a normal double step. 
Okay, one, two, three hops around your room for me, please, or your space. So, one, two, three, hop, two, three, hop. Should be no, low ground, low impact, just trying to get that lactic out, which you should have generated, or well, the lactic acid you should have generated through doing the core workout and the parametrics workout. Okay, what I now want you to do is a Bampton single step or normal, sorry, more single step. <clears throat> and stop, okay. Now we're going to start doing the warm-up in reverse, okay? So we're now going to do that weird pigeon step, okay? So it's getting down low and walking through, okay? Making sure those ankle joints aren't too stiff. So the weird ankle joint, or the weird ankle joint, the weird pigeon step walk, okay? Walking through the foot. Okay, now we need to go on your heels for me, please. So at a steady pace, walk on your heels. Okay, and then walk into your tiptoes for me, please. Walk on your toes. Okay, your calves could maybe still tight from doing the fast hop, so it's making sure you're walking your toes. Okay, then walking normally for me, please. So walking normally. If you can, after a session like that, try and walk normally. Okay, we're now going to start from my legs going back up to your top. So we did the hamstring stretch, okay, where you're holding it, we only held it for a few seconds initially in the warm up. And now I want you to be holding it for eight to 10 seconds. So you're now going to put one foot in front and put your weight on the other side. You should be feeling it down there and hold. Okay, change legs, sweet, please. Go back to your first leg. Change back to your second leg. Should be feeling it down there. Okay, what you do next, okay, if you've got a wall, okay, lean against the wall, if you, if you haven't, I just want you to take a step back. And then you should be feeling it down here, okay? So what you do, is push against the wall, you should be feeling it down there, hold it for eight seconds. Okay, change legs. Go back to your first leg. Go back to your second leg. Okay, the next one you need to do is grab your core or you grab your foot by your knee and then hold it there as well for eight seconds. Okay, change legs. Knees together. Okay, go back to your first leg. You need to get your balance. That's fine. 
Okay, go back to your second leg. Okay, and drop it down. Okay, next one you do, the sideways lunge, you're gonna hold it for 10. Okay, go back to the other side. Okay, then go back to centre and then go back down the first side you went. Okay, go back to centre and then go back. And back to the centre. Okay, what does it then do? Bring your knee up, hold it to your chest. Okay, this extending the glutes. Hold it. Okay, then change legs up to your chest and hold. Okay, go back down, go back to your first leg. Okay, go back to your second leg. Okay, and drop down. The next one is what I thought, call a four squat. It's to help lengthen your glute muscles. Okay, so you're going to do a four at like that, then go down if you can. Hold it and then back up. Put four of your legs and then down. And back up, go back to the first leg, should be able to get lower and hopefully be more balanced the second time round as well. And back up, last leg, okay, then the arms go across, hold it, ten sec for eight seconds. Back across. Okay, go back to your first arm, hold it. Go back to your second arm. Hopefully you've only got two. And then we go do the last stretch, the last stretch we need to do. Hold it above your head for eight seconds. Okay, go back, we'll go to the other arm. Go back to your first arm. And then, very last stretch. Okay, and then shake it off there. And then that is it for the return to dance out workout. Thank you very much for everyone who's joined in for the whole seven sessions and hopefully you enjoyed it today as well. Well done, Rhys. Um, anybody Bravo. got any questions before we wrap up? Bravo. There haven't Bravo. been any comments um, in the chat. Kerry's got a question. Hello, thank you so much, Rhys. You've nearly killed me every week, but it's been amazing, amazing. I've got one question uh, because yeah. I have very short arms. The um, quadricep, uh, quadricep stretch where you pick your foot up by your hand behind you, is yeah. there an alternative to the quads stretch that people with short arms can do? <laughs> so, I'll double, double check. You can do is go down to the lunge and lean back, you should then feed it towards the top end of your quads, potentially. So you should, so, it's going the wrong side. Do a lunge down like that and hold it. You should be able to feel it there, as well as an alternative to a glute squat if, you have, if, you're, if you're unable to do that. You want to try and get that pressure there for the quad stretch to elongate the quads. So if, if you can't, try and get down to it. A midway lunge down there, hold it. You should then be able to lean back. You should be able to feel it all the way up there. It also helps out your um, adductors as well. Mm -hmm.
Oh yes, lovely. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? Unmute or raise a hand or put something in the chat. Yeah, we're getting lots of thanks um, in the, the chat. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'd I like think there's no more questions then. Yeah. Not, see, not seeing any questions. Nobody's had any time to stop and ask questions. <laughs> um, don't, know the, don't know all the muscles are. Um, but yeah, so the main, main ones quickly. So let's go for the quick muscles. For dancing, anyway, you've got. You've got the gastrocnemius there, and just below, below it, there's the soleus, okay, just behind the legs. Then you've got the tibialis anterior, so the shin muscle. When you have shin splints, a lot of it is when you've got really tight calves, it's basically putting the tibialis anterior against the bone. Okay, so that's the lower leg muscles. You've got the quads, okay, so you've got quads there. Okay, thickly there's four. I know you can only see two on this one. Then you've got the hamstrings there as well okay so they're the main leg muscles on the legs um but, but somebody was asking whether you could do a video pointing out all of the muscles um i'm getting so many messages that i can't work out who it was who asked that uh, but this um itself is has been recorded so you can go back and check um it's up to you reese whether you want to uh, to do a bit of um, pointing out the muscles okay yeah oh okay. So it, that was rachel cole wilkin okay thank you and the seedings time, Owen. Thank you, Tina. Tina's got her hand up. You... Um, you're talking about shin splints. I have had it in the past. Have you got any advice for that as to how to prevent it or what to do if you get it? So I'm not a physio, but I have had it myself. Um, what I've normally done is stretch out my calves, or I've got a foam roller, which I then basically a, it's a rolling pin for my muscles, which I then try and lengthen my calves. What I also do is roll a golf ball on underneath my foot because a lot of the muscles with the calf and the tibialis anterior are located by the bottom of the foot. So, and then also what I've done is trying to do stretches around the hip again because the, all the muscles from your quads and hamstrings start from the hip and finish by the knee, which could then make the calves tight as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. And Kerry's just put a link up on the chat as well for a great link for muscles as well. So. Well, I could send that out in the post event email, couldn't I? Yeah. I'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Thank you for the kind messages. Thank you. So just uh, if you've enjoyed these sessions, if you'd like to donate a few quid to, to uh, Reese's chosen charity, which is Mind, that would be lovely. And I know that I've had now seven weeks of exercises out of that. So that probably tops up to quite a lot of money now. Um, so it just remains me to say a massive thank you to Reese and could you people unmute themselves and give him a big round of applause, please. Bravo. Bravo. I'm just going to add a safety notice, um, if I can. Um, if you do have shin splints or you do have any concern, um, can you make sure that you take medical advice if you are um, seriously concerned and you want some actual support rather than managing it yourself? I'm sure I don't need to say that, but hey, I do. Thank you, Faye. That's a good point. Thanks, Rhys. Thank you, Rhys. Thank, 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 Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.